Alexander Morris, you are indeed back among the living. Please come up here so I may tell you about your future 
in service of history. You are in the future from your perspective, around 300 years or so, if you're curious. We are Chronotech, and through the research and efforts of our founder, Dr. Ranier Cole, we have made time travel not only possible, but practical. It's a recent innovation. Dr. Cole took his first trip 20 years ago, and we are very careful in our travels. We use it only for research. But what a fantastic gift. The mysteries alone we've solved. Chronotech travelers witnessed monoliths being raised at Stonehenge. Another team discovered why the Mayan civilization disappeared. We've discovered and learned so much. But with the power of time travel comes the responsibility of protecting history. Dr. Cole is a fanatic about this. It's one of the reasons we call him the father of time. He knew changing history would be dangerous and foolish. Together, the goals of discovery and protecting history form the prime objective of Chronotech. Keeping that in mind, there have been some very disquieting developments. First, Dr. Cole is missing. I fear the very father of time is lost somewhere, some time out there. Second, we are identifying certain historical events out of place and certain people being put suddenly in harm's way. We discover new anomalies every day and we can't find the cause or connection. I can explain neither Dr. Cole's absence nor the changes we've been seeing, but I have a strong hunch they're related somehow. That's where you come in, Alexander Morris. You will be sent to different places in their times of great strife and change charged with saving those people facing an untimely end. You are the perfect candidate to help our cause, and I'm sure you'd like to show your gratitude for being rescued from certain death. There's more you need to know, and you must have some questions. For the answers, step into the portal and meet the man who will help you along in your quests, Agent Dexter. I guess you're the fucking new guy, huh? Now you got some work to do, and I think you should start with some weapons training. Things are a bit different these days. See if you can see. Well done. I think you had the right idea. Fire again when the flash is clean. If you hit, your weapon jams up and it takes even longer. You can zoom in a bit. Take out that sword. Too bad, but out there they don't. Like, 
Remember, they can throw them at you, too. <laughs> All right, son. I think you figured out them grenades. We might run across some artillery, so let's get you checked out on the big guns. You can change the cannon's aim from left to right. All right, let's get you checked out on the map system. Bring up your map and take a look. The icon indicates your location. The circles are your objectives. Enemy locations, when we know where they are, are marked in red. It knocks the time stream all catty. There's all sorts of unwanted attention. <laughs> I'll seek out enemies with blue auras, knocking them unconscious and taking them out of the battle while keeping them alive. Be careful with these. You gotta be within throwing distance for them to do their job. You'll pick up the rest as we go, but just <laughs> don't kill the guys with blue auras. I'm gonna try to keep you from making the big stupid, but the rest is on you. Stay in line, follow officer's orders, and keep your head down. Get ready for war, son. Dexter, I'm assuming your training session went well? Yes, ma'am. I ran his rear through the gear and he seems to be gripping gravel. Very well. After consulting with the Chronotech time stream monitors, I've isolated two individuals in immediate danger. Joseph Welsh is a soldier in the Union Army in the United States Civil War. He's supposed to be away from the action, working as a supply clerk, but he's suddenly been moved to the front lines. Our other target is Captain Petrovich, a Russian officer in World War I. He and his troops should stay together through the war, but they're now in the path of a crushing German counterattack at Tannenberg. If either Welsh or Petrovich meets an untimely end, the repercussions could be far-reaching. Rescue them from their current crisis, and our reintegration team will get them back to their time period safely. Dexter, have you prepared mission briefings? Yes, ma'am. I've prepared mission strategies and maps and loaded them to the view screen up there. Then I'll leave both of you to your business and look forward to your successful return. Well, you got a choice to make. Where are we going? This is during the opening days of World War I at Tannenberg. You're in the second Russian army, which has three big problems. Number one, first Russian army general Renkamp wouldn't piss on second army general Samsonov if he was on fire. He's hung the second army out to dry just because he hates Samsonov. Number two, both of these dumb shit generals have been broadcasting their orders on the radio, unencoded. Number three, the Germans know all this, and they're set to kick Russian ass. Hell, after this one, Russia doesn't march on German soil again until 1945. The Second Army is destroyed. Over 125,000 Russian troops are lost. 
Somehow, Petrovich has been moved to the Second Army. We know he made it out of Tannenberg, but about a hundred thousand Germans are breathing down his neck. We're gonna get you close, just south of the town. But it's gonna be a fucking mess out there. Which means it's gonna be a pain in the ass to find Petrovich. I'll be there to help you track him. Look for me when you get there. There's Petrovich. He's pinned down. Get your ass on that gun and provide cover fire. Now, damn it! This path is the only way you could have made it. Keep going. Oh, 
Чует мое сердце. Что, ребята? I was hoping we didn't run into this mustard gas. Get up! Hanging from your belt. This is our chance to get out of here. Oh, damn it! We are too busy choking on the gas. Идите здесь и головы не высовывайте. Мы покинем это поле боя победителем или мертвым. Ох, чую фрицы рядом.
Опять в бой, мужики! Нам нужно больше боеприпасов здесь! Отойди с дорожки! Подкрепление сюда! Shit up quick. Now, let's get after that Petrovich fella. Мы покинем это поле боя победителями или мертвыми. Гони их назад на свою собственную землю. Мы обязаны Just остановить What he was saying was that this whole area is pretty much overrun, and he's sending all troops on to Frankenau. Now, that sounds like our next destination, but I want to head back to the Chronotech labs and do some planning. Come on, let's blow this pop stand. I've received Dexter's report. It sounds like all hell was breaking loose back there. Good job getting Petrovich off the battlefield. It was bad luck you couldn't catch up with him. Our research shows a location just outside Frankenau is the best rendezvous point for Petrovich. And don't forget about Welsh in the Civil War. Remember, maintaining the integrity of history is our mission at Chronotech. Your job will be a lot easier if your shooting irons are in better shape. Our team is working on improving period weapons, but they're also running interference for you. Remember the people with the blue auras? Fewer of them you kill, the more time our team has to work on your weapon systems, and the less time they spend cleaning up after your worthless ass. Come on over to the weapons table. I can show you more. After every mission, assuming you don't totally screw it up, you'll get upgrade points. You can use these points to get more ammo and a clip, faster rate of fire, better accuracy, you get the idea. Once you use them, though, you can't get them back. So choose carefully.
You'd think with all this fighting we'd get a little futuristic R&R. Maybe send us to the great strip bars through history or something. tip for you. If you get back to your own time, buy stock and sell it all in September of 1929. I really miss New York style pizza. Remember that? Ah, crap, I forgot from a time before pizza. Tannenberg is pretty well overrun by this point, if you haven't guessed. You need to head south toward Frankenau, where it looks like the Russians have a rendezvous point. If you're gonna find Petrovich, you'll be there. You got a big chunk of forest to get through, and there's Germans all over the place. You won't have to break through any lines, but I guarantee you'll take fire. You can go left or right or down the middle, but there's farmhouses, trees, all sorts of places for Germans to hide and hold the road. Stay close to cover, and don't be a goddamn hero. I've arranged for a shotgun to be left for you in a farmhouse. And this ain't no ordinary 12-gauge. This is a fully automatic, high-capacity, recoil-balanced, kick-ass combat shotgun. That'll give you an edge, but it won't make you bulletproof, so be careful.
finde ein Ziel. Folge ihm bis er Пантом! Нужно больше боеприпасов здесь!
Мы покинем это бой победителями. Ты идиот! Ты привел к нам врага! Бери винтовку на плечо немедленно! наверное,
артиллерия! Поднимаемся выше! Укрытие! Мы слишком рассредоточены. Не, Мы и так может окружить нас. Далеко. Дальше ни шагу. Мы перегруппируемся с войсками Петровича. У меня сегодня кончаются вечер. патроны. У кого есть еще? Мы и так отступили слишком далеко. Дальше ни шагу. Стоим на смерть, мужики. Нельзя позволить нам Those Germans just keep coming, and the best way to overcome a numerical advantage is vastly superior firepower. I advise you to unleash its righteous fury on the battleground, preferably the German side. All right, give me that. We can't have just anybody get their dick beaters on it. We're done at these trenches. Go join up with that patrol. Отойди с дорожки! Thank <laughs> you. 
Dexter, I've just reviewed your mission report. I can't believe this. A direct intervention by unknowns trying to change history? This is... I can't... There's... There's no precedent for this. And you say your weapons just bounce right off them? Who are these interlopers? We must find out. I'll have the team here find out what they can. In the meantime, we should stay out of World War I. Concentrate on Welsh and bring him back from the Civil War. All right, I got good news. You already know how to use this war's weapons. That's the only good news there is. You know about this battle. It's the bloodiest day of American history. The Battle of Antietam and the Civil War. This is the night before all the shit flies. You'll be scouting rebel positions and learning the lay of the land while moving into position to meet Joseph Welsh. If you're lucky, we might even find him tonight. That'd save a whole lot of hassle. You're going in just outside a Union camp. You'll be attached to a scout patrol. Join them and follow orders as you move ahead. Keep your eyes peeled, your head down, and your powder dry. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. You all done with the shitter? Scouts, warm up. Gather around now. <coughs> Y'all are gonna scout through the swamp, at least up to the road. Patrol one, head along the north ridge. Two and three, you're taking the southern route. Rest of you boys just head on down the middle. It's gonna be tough to spot those graybacks in the dark, so be careful. General's too scared to make a decision. I say if they want that godforsaken south, they can have it. Bastards took our whiskey ration.
Get in the trees. There's revs heading down the road. That was a close one, boys. Sure was. Look at all them revs. Imagine what'd happen if one of you idiots gave us away. Show your pie hole and we'll find out. Okay, it's safe to slip by now. Let's head down the road some and uh, pick up a path heading north through the woods. Price of killing. That way. Now, let's try and do this quietly. Well, no other way but through. Well, there's no telling how many more are heading down that road.
last of them. Slip through. Quick in the field. If any of you morons get lost in the corn, just follow the smoke. Come on, you. go getting us mustered out. and these poor sons just keep coming. Yankees to hell! 
boys, come on back and take a look. Get over here. There's a whole army camp down there. We gotta report this, boys. I think our camp's just to the west and over the river. Let's move out! Almost there, boys. Turn them back, men! Watch our flank! <coughs> Find cover! Now! We got them! We got them now! Good job, men. I suggest you get some rest. I have a feeling we're gonna have a long...
Your report is correct, Dexter. There was just too much land to cover and the Confederate presence was much too strong in the area. But we knew it was a long shot. Until we know more about those interlopers, World War I is too dangerous. You must return to Antietam and rescue Welsh from the morning battle in the cornfield. I can't wait to see you return with him. Hey, Morris, why the long face? This is gonna be an old-fashioned clusterfuck right here. You're headed straight into some of the deadliest hours of American history, and it's gonna be uglier than an orangutan's afterbirth. The cornfield fight was one of the bloodiest clashes of Antietam. This one small patch of ground went back and forth between the Union and Confederates more than 11 times. By noon, there wasn't even a stock of corn left standing. Now stick with your fellow soldiers. As sick as it sounds, they're your living body armor, and there's gonna be a lot of lead in the air. Remember, you ain't there for them. You're there to find Welsh. He'll be in the cornfield somewhere. You keep your eye out for him and get him out of there. Get clear of the battle and head toward Dunker Church while avoiding Confederate patrols. We'll find a way to get you home somehow. In the meantime, follow orders, don't draw attention to yourself, and by God, don't try to be a hero. <laughs> Right on up ahead. Warm up, men. In line. Give Warm up, boys. We're going in. in. We'll join us. Keep together.
It's nasty shit out there, huh? Isn't it great to fight at the Battle of Antietam, seeing how you missed it the first time around? Yeah, you can thank me later. Take this gun and engage in some numerical adjustment out there. That means bust open their line and get both your asses out of here. Confederates coming through the corn! The Rebs are making a push! Stop them stinking Rebs! Chase him down! On the run, chase him down. Bring that line. Come on, man. Charge. Here we're making a push to take that Dunker Church. I ain't keen on dying in the cornfield, so why don't we head up?
Come on, man! Back, man! They're on us. Move. Watch our flank! We got him! We got him now! This ain't done yet! Find cover! Now! They're moving in! in. Sack them, boys! Should have pressed some dirty red. Did you see what happened to that cornfield? The sneaking as hell on my nerves, I tell you what. Just when it starts to cool off, blast the mosquito. Dinner is boiled cabbage again. I'm gonna flop.
Roger's still missing. Nelson don't look too good. I say if they want that guy. I ain't gonna miss another Christmas with my family, that's for sure. You better pray they didn't see us or we are dead men for certain. Sarge said it's just like shooting squirrels. All right, let's keep a move on. Dinner is boiled cabbage again. I'm gonna vomit. Looks like I'm stuck with you until we get out of this pickle pot. I'm gonna get shot. I just know it. I hear Lee is on his way, but just got lost trying to get out of his tent. <laughs> Did you see what happened to that cornfield? We would be chasing rebels all over God's half acre if we would have attacked two days ago. Better win this. <coughs> I thought we'd be home by the end of summer. This is shaping up to be a real crap. Damn general's too scared to make a decision. Damn general's too scared to make a decision. Bastards took our whiskey ration. All right, let's, let's keep it move on. Yeah, I'm gonna vomit.
Looks like I'm stuck with you until we get out of this pickle pot. shaping up to be a real crappy day, you know? I say if they want that God to save the South, they can have it. Just when it starts to cool off. You better turn tail, Yanks!
Holy mother! What the hell are those demons? Come on, son. We gotta go. I'll figure out another way to get Welsh, but we're dead fucking meat if we stay here. I'm so relieved you both made it back. Those strange intruders are quickly becoming our overriding problem. We simply can't do anything else until we come up with a way to deal with them. I believe we'll need to capture one of these strangers. And I am tasking you and Dexter to get that done. It's up to you how. Morris, why the long face? Here's the deal. Those agents, well, call them that have been hassling you, are turning into a major problem. We need to figure out where they're coming from, who they're working for, and what the hell they're packing for heat. Now, I don't like this a whole lot, but we're up against it, and this is what we gotta do. I've scouted out a ravine where some cavalry boys are getting their asses handed to them by the Indians. I want you to clear out the Indians, and then, well, you need to take out the soldiers with blue auras. And that'll grab the attention of those agent boys. They're gonna come after you, and you're playing rabbit. Lead them up through the ravine, and I'll take care of the rest. Tenderfoot, I've scouted the area and we have a perfect place for our trap. Follow me. All right, this is the spot. You're gonna need to lead them here. Right now, let's head up there and take a look around. Yeah, this looks good. I'll be able to cover you from up here if you stick to the ravines on your way back. Take a good look, and check your map. You're gonna have a few of those shiny shitheads on your tail when you come back through. Now the cavalry targets should be that way, and we're gonna wanna... Shit, did you hear that? Gotta be an Indian patrol. Get moving.
Thank goodness, he came just in time. Third party's entering time. Son, bring him down here.
Good work, son. You managed to keep your poop with a group under fire. <laughs> I might even be proud of you right now. Now let's get all this back to headquarters and figure out what's going on with these fellas. It's such a joy to welcome back my triumphant warriors. Well done, the both of you. Our investigators are going to work with our new guest and see what we can learn. We have not had a chance to do any research yet, but we do already know their shield resonance. That will allow you to take them down twice as effectively. That should even out the playing field, as I assume you will encounter them again. Much work still needs to be done. Both Welsh and Petrovich are still out there, but now I can confidently send you to get it done. Dexter, whatever plan you put together worked very well. Please keep up the good work. You trusted me and didn't say anything. I appreciate that, so I'm gonna let you in on what's going on. Come here. Do you wonder why you're here? Or why I'm here? Well, we're a couple of history mysteries, the two of us. Like you at Little Bighorn. You were about ready to buy the farm, but since you were just transferred from a different unit and arrived early, history shows you as an MIA from your previous unit. The lists of the dead and missing from Custer's Last Stand don't have your name. As far as history's concerned, you're a ghost, and perfect for snatching by Chronotech, just like me. I was a firefighter in New York City. It was an exciting job. Dangerous, but it was worth it. And on that fateful day, I wasn't working. Wasn't even on call. But I heard the scanner and I knew I had to respond. And right before a kajillion tons of steel and concrete collapsed on top of me, a portal appeared and a Chronotech agent pulled me in. Just like you. If Chronotech hadn't snagged me, I'd be dead. So, as the MIAs of history, we're allowed to go back and set things right with history, while the rest of the Chronotech folks can't. They're stuck. They have to use us MIAs that are never figured out. Pretty deep, huh? And there's more of us. The research team is concentrating on finding and retrieving other ghosts of time. One piece of advice. If she offers to send you back to your original time, don't take it. You'll be sent to the exact moment you left. In your case, about ten seconds before an Indian splits open your skull. When it comes to working for Chronotech, you're damned if you do, and dead if you don't. How's that for a motivational slogan, huh? Eh, yeah, well, sorry for the history lesson. We have work to do. Where do you want to start? Hey, Morris. Why the long face? <laughs> 